In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning and welcome to the Shrine and Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. This Sunday, we celebrate the solemnity of Christ the King. And to be worthy to offer this holy sacrifice of the Mass, we prepare ourselves by calling to mind our sins, and we ask God's mercy and forgiveness. In all humility, all together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant, we pray, that the whole creation, set free from slavery, may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The people of God is personified in one like a son of man and is glorified for its faithfulness. The vision is now applied to Christ who calls himself the son of man and receives eternal glory with his death and resurrection. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the ancient one and was presented before him, the one like a son of man received dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples, nations, and languages serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away, his kingship shall not be destroyed. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. is king in splendor robed. Robed is the Lord and girt about with strength. 
made the world firm not to be moved your throne stands firm from the old, from old from everlasting you are o lord your decreases are worthy of trust indeed Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. By virtue of his resurrection from the dead, Christ is declared King of Kings, as King. He will come to restore all things to himself. All will be made accountable to him. A reading from the book of Revelation. Jesus Christ is the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead and the ruler of the kings of the earth. To him who love us has freed us from our sins by his blood, who has made us into a kingdom priest for his God and Father. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming amid the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. All the peoples of the earth will lament him. Yes, Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord, the one who is, and who was, and who is to come, the Almighty. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Pilate said to Jesus, Are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus answered, Do you say this on your own, or have others told you about me? And Pilate answered, I am not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and the chief priests handed you over to me. What have you done? And Jesus answered, My kingdom does not belong to this world. If my kingdom did belong to this world, my attendants would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not here. So Pilate said to him, Then you are a king. And Jesus answered, You say I am a king. For this I was born and for this I came into the world to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Pakikinggan po natin ang humiliya sa dakilang kapistahan ng Kristong Hare na babasahin sa lahat ng parokya sa Arkdiocesis ng Linggayan Dagukan ngayong linggo. Mga kapatid kay Kristong Hari, Tinanong ni Pilato si Jesus, Ikaw ba ang Hari ng mga Hudyo? 
malabo ang pag-iisip ni Pilato. Ang kalooban niya ay puno ng mga bagay na walang kabuluhan. Hindi nakita ni Pilato na higit sa hari ng mga Hudyo na sa harapan niya ang hari ng sandibutan. Ngayon ay ating pinahayag ang paghari ni Kristo ay sumasakop sa lahat at sa bawat isa, sa lahat ng lugar, sa lahat ng panahon. Sa gayon, sa pangalan ni Yesus ay luluhod at magpupuri ang lahat ng nasa langit, nasa lupa at nasa ilalim ng lupa. At para sa ikluluhati ng Diyos Ama, ang lahat ay magpapahayag na si Kristo ang Panginoon. Mula sa sulat ni San Pablo para sa mga tiga-Pilipos. Ang lahat-lahat ay dapat na isuko ang sarili kay Kristong Hari. Nararapat bang may paghihiwalay sa pagitan ng simbahan at estado? Oo. Nararapat bang may paghihiwalay sa pagitan ng Diyos at ng tao? Hindi. Nararapat bang may paghihiwalay ang Diyos at ang politika? Hindi. Kapag walang Diyos ang politika, ang mga pamumuno ay mauwi sa kasamaan at ang mga mamamayan ang siyang daraing ng sakit. Pangdaing sa hapis, piwikain ng mga tao, Panginoon, tulungan mo kami sa panganib. At tutugon sa pagtulong ang Diyos sa pamagitan ng pagpapadala ng mga guro upang magtuturo at mag-anyaya sa pagsisisi. Dapat lamang bang ipagpatiwala ang politika sa mga politiko? Hindi. Ang politika ay gawa ng tao. Hindi ito likas na makadiyos. Nangangailangan itong gabayan ng mga bagay na makadiyos upang mahubog sa pamamaraan ng Diyos. Kung ama mga pinili ng Diyos at pinagdala upang gumabay ay pipiliin manahimik, paano makikilala ng tao ang Diyos sa kanilang buhay? Ang paghihiwalay ng simbahan at estado ay hindi nangahulugan ng paghihiwalay ng mga relihiyosong paniwala at buhay pampubliko. Hindi ito nangahulugan ng pagkakaiba ng mga prinsipyong moral at pampulitikang patakaran. Kapag nauwi ito sa ganito, ipagkakanulo natin ang Kristong Hari. Kapag ang kaluluwa ay nahiwalay sa katawan, sasabihin ng doktor na patay na ito, pumanaw na ito. Kapag iwinaksi ng bansa ang Diyos, pagkamatay din ang dulot nito sa bansa. Nagkakasala ang lahat. Subalit nagiging madali ang magkasala dahil sa mga nilikhang istruktura ng kasalanan. May mga kalagayan na naghihimok at pinagantimpalaan pa ng kasalanan. Ang mga ganitong pamaraan ay dapat na mawasak kung si Kristo ang tunay na hari. Kapag pinagsasamantalahan ang kamangmangan, kapag ang pagkamakabayan ay napawabayaan sa ngalan ng ganid at mga dinastiyang pampamilya. Kapag ang kasinungalingan ay pinangalandakan at ang katotohanan ay pinatatahimik, nabibigyang puri ba ang Diyos? Nais ba ng Diyos na lapastanganin ng mga duka? Nais ba ng Diyos na maligaw sa landas ng kasinungalingan ng mga kabataan? Nalulugod ba ang Diyos sa mga bigong pangako ng mga politiko? Sino ang magliligtas sa kanila? Kapag ipinagbabaliwala natin ang kalunos-lunos na katayuan ng mga tao, tayo ay laban sa Diyos. Ito ay mga pagtuligsa sa paghahari ni Kristo. Ang mga tagasulod ni Kristo ay dapat magsalita. Ano ang saysay ng Kristyanismo? Ang tanging tugon ay pag-ibig. Pag-ibig ang nasa kaibuturan ng Kristyanismo. Ang pag-ibig ay nakikipagkapwa-tao. Kailangan ng pag-ibig ang pakikilahok ng tao. 
hindi maring magmahal ng mag-isa? Ipinamamalas natin ang pag-ibig sa pamumuhay sa lipunan. Ano ang tawag sa pag-ibig at paglilingkod sa lipunan? Ito ay politika. Ang sabi ni Papa Francisco, ang politika ang isa sa pinakamataas na uri ng pagmamahal. Kapag ang krisyanismo ay tinanggal sa politika, mamumuno ang mga masasama, magahari ang mga sakim, magdurusa ang mga mahirap at mamamayani ang kasalanan. Ang simbahang tahimit na nagpapahayag ng paghari ni Kristo, subalit bulag, bingi at pipi sa politikang walang Diyos ay isang kontradiksyon. Ang simbahang bingi, pipi at bulaga ay tila mayroong malaking batong nakatali sa kanyang leeg na naghihintay ng pagkalunod sa kalaliman ng dagat. Politics is something more noble than posturing, marketing, and media spin. This so nothing but division, conflict, and a bleak cynicism incapable of mobilizing people to pursue a common goal. From Fratelli Tutti. Sa lahat ng bahagi ng buhay katoliko ng mga Pilipino, ang politika ang higit na nangangailangan ng paghahari ni Kristo upang dinggin ng langit ang ating mga panalangin. Patawarin tayo sa ating makasalanan at hilumin ang ating bayan. Kristong Hari, itinatalaga namin sa iyo ang politika sa Pilipinas. Pagharian mo kami. Kukupin mong muli ang politika sa aming bansa. Ibulid mo sa kanilang trono ang mga tampalasan at itaas ang mga mababang loob. Kristong Hari, ilapit mo kami sa iyong pag -ahari. Amen. Mula kay Arsobispo Socrates Villegas, Arsobispo ng Dingkayan Dagupan. Pagnilayan po natin ang nilalaman ng liham niyang ito upang tayo ay matulungan. Magkabayan, mabigyan ng liwanag ang ating mga isipan nang sa ganoon, mapaghandaan natin nang nararapat ang darating na halalan. Sitayo po tayo. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten, not made consubstantial with the Father, to Him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. We now plead our needs to our Almighty Father, who willed to grace us through His Son, Jesus Christ, the King of all. Full of trust, we pray, and our response is, Lord, King of glory, listen to our prayer. Lord, King of glory, listen to our prayer. May Pope Francis, Socrates, our bishop, priests, and deacons work with courage and faith in sowing the seed of the kingdom of God on earth that is now enveloped by fear and discouragement. 
we pray. Lord, King of Glory, listen to our prayer. May our government officials and all who serve in public office follow the example of Christ the King, who came to serve and not to be served. We pray. Lord, King of Glory, listen to our prayer. May Jesus, our Lord and King, heal and strengthen those who battle against the effects brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic. We pray. Lord, King of Glory, listen to our prayer. As we close the liturgical year, may Jesus, the King of the universe, be the beginning and the end of all our activities in life. We pray. Lord, King of Glory, listen to our prayer. May our beloved dead be welcomed by Jesus, their sure hope and Savior. As they begin their everlasting life, we pray. Lord, King of Glory, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, King of Glory, listen to our prayer. Heavenly Father, Make us faithful and trustworthy followers of Christ, our Savior and our King. May we draw courage from Him who has overcome the world and now reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for the good and the good of all His holy church. As we offer you, Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son Himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness as eternal priest and King of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption, and making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom a kingdom of truth, 
and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, 
and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Now, in loving confidence, we pray to our Father in the words Christ taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
Here is Jesus Christ, the King of the universe, the King of our nation, the King of our family, the King of our hearts. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the cradle of stewardship. I believe in the God of love, the owner of everything who possesses everyone. I believe in the God of mercies who has chosen me to be a steward of Mother Nature and Mother Church, in spite of who I am and what I have done and in spite of the infidelities he knows I will still commit. I believe in the power of giving and in the power of loving like Jesus because love is the only way to holiness. Giving is the best proof of loving and perfect renunciation leads to unlimited fruitfulness. I believe that in freely giving my time, in humbly sharing my talents, and in generously sacrificing my treasures, the Lord will always provide. He will take care of all my needs and bless me with infinite reward on the earth and in heaven. I will be the first to give. I will not wait for the others. I will keep on giving even if others do not give. I will not be afraid to have none I believe that the best time to share is now, not tomorrow, for tomorrow is an excuse of the greedy. I will keep my needs and wants simple and few, 
For I believe that in reducing my selfishness, I will grow in happiness and holiness. I am steward of the Lord. I will return all this to him with abundant yield. Much is asked of me because much has been given to me. I praise the Lord for his kindness to me, now and forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that, glorying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo at pakikiisa sa banal na misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you, and in His kindness, pour upon you all the gifts of His blessing. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to His words, that they may be filled with everlasting gladness. Amen. And so may you always understand what is good and right, and be found ever hastening along the path of God's commands, made co-heirs with the citizens of heaven. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of the Mass is ended. Go to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our weakness. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of religious articles. Yung may mga nais po pabibindisyonan, pakitaas lang po ng mga pabibindisyon ninyo, tanda ng layunin ninyo na ito ay mabindisyonan. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, images, oil, crucifixes, scapulars, prayer books, and other articles of devotion be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.